The thing that's really made me very wary of cows was a situation when I was walking with a friend and our dogs through a field of cows who I thought were a good distance away and we were quite safe walking through. But they all suddenly just um, turned and uh, came towards us and then just got really, really close and followed us. And it, we were just in a situation where we didn't know what to do and we didn't know what to do with the dogs. And, um, and it was a very frightening experience and now I just won't go near a field of cows if I'm out walking. I think people generally are scared of cows because of the size of them, for a start. They can be really intimidating and they are very inquisitive animals, so they will come over and investigate things. A lot of people don't have close contact with large animals like this. So we've run courses here for a couple of years now, um, helping people that are scared of cows, particularly dog walkers. The first step of that would be just to enrol on the course itself. Then over the course of a couple of hours, bring them up to a point where they feel much happier about being around the cows and why they are like they are, because they're inquisitive, intelligent animals. So these are all babies. We don't have to go in with them or anything like that, but these is kind of like the nicest ones to start with, <laughs> let's say. They are cute. Yeah, they, they are, are cute. cute. So they love to lick stuff. Right. Um, it means they can get a really good scent of you oh, okay. and they can start to yeah. taste what you smell like, basically. Mm. <laughs> They've got real strong size. <laughs> if you put your if you put your hands kind of flat yeah. like that and just let him suck your hand a little bit, it won't oh, hurt at so all. Cute. They can't. They haven't got oh, teeth, this? but it's oh. kind of that. <laughs> so these are slightly bigger than what you saw okay. in the, the car. They still shed. look quite baby. If they... Yeah, they're still babies. Still quite skittish in a good way for you in the right, sense okay. if you jumped or made a sudden movement they go oh my god oh. what are you doing we could if you want to um go in with these guys and just see what they're like yeah i'm i'm up for it because they still look like little baby cows baby. so yeah. um sure. i'm willing to give that a go you might get one or two that will come over and go oh i'm gonna give you a sniff um and then i thought it might be you <laughs> and then the others will follow a little bit yeah. so if you wanted to move these they yeah. literally will Oh right, so you just walk towards So it. any amount, yeah. of, you just put a tiny bit of like pressure mm. on them with your yeah. body language. This is our group of um, British Blues. They're a step up from the last lot in the sense that they're bigger. Um, they'll probably come over, uh, but they won't be too in your face. This is where it gets nerve wracking for me. Is it? Yeah. yeah, this is kind of the experience of you think they're a good distance away. They've kind of got their own threshold. Um, and they will, if we stayed here for hours and hours, they'll get closer and closer and closer and closer. Because that's kind of the thing that's helping me a little bit here, is the yeah. fact that it is more inquisitive rather than Absolutely. wanting to come and get you. So they'll carve in a few months to come, um, and then they'll be out here with their calves. And at that stage, I would be advising you completely differently. Yeah. So actually keep away from them because they've got babies. So these are what I would say were a classic, you'd meet on a dog walk and they yeah. would be intimidating and scary and these are the ones that are going to walk up right behind you. Yeah. They're much closer aren't they're they? They're just more confident, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to walk back towards the gate. Okay. They're absolutely going to follow us. Right. What they tend to do is they, they're like, oh I can't keep up, so they'll jog a little bit. Oh, okay. Can feel oh, a bit that's scary. really interesting. Yeah. Because so, you're normally walking fast, or I'd be walking yeah. quite fast by this point. And then if they're trusting, I'm thinking they're coming after you, they're actually it's because they can't Yeah, they can't keep, keep up. up. And, and if you really were to important. run now, they yeah. would run after you. Because <laughs> they're like, we're running together, it's so oh, much fun. Fabulous. Do you want to try moving them? Okay. So if you walk towards that lot and just yeah. shout at them, maybe yeah, okay. clap and wave your arms a okay. little bit. Okay, as if you can do it. <laughs> go on, you're all right. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> For me, it's been quite, that's been the big change in my mindset with all of this is that they're actually, they're not coming to stampeding at me. They're actually interested in who I am yeah. and what I'm doing. I think if there's an option to avoid cows if you're dog walking or if you're just walking in general, then do it. Um, but also, you're in a far better position now, you're better informed. Thank so you, it's been Thank amazing. You. Thank nice. you so Glad much. I've really it. enjoyed it. Yeah. I've really been out of my comfort zone a lot. Yeah. <laughs> to... It's quite nice, quite invigorating to push yourself I out know, of your comfort zone. I know, because I just walk out of each one going, I can't believe I just did that. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So, no, you so did really well. Thank you, well. Yeah, no, really, thank really you well. very much. It's been brilliant.